Northwestern University is trying hard to keep increasing the percentage of females in their engineering department. In the past 19 years, NU has increased the number of females in McCormick by almost 7%. Instructor and prototyping specialist Heidi Huckabay helps many of her female students in the prototyping and fabrication lab at Northwestern. Huckabay offers advice towards rising STEM women that it's important to be proud, to be confident, and to own your skill. And I work with females and males, everybody who's kind of apprehensive. I'm just like, you got this, like it's yours, you got it. Because you need to feel like you have that skill so that you have the confidence. Isabella de la Guarda. A valued student of Huckabay works on her capstone final project in the shop, where she has to assemble as many wrenches as possible in 30 minutes. Yeah, through my major in particular, they're very group-based classes that are very hands-on, so you're able to see how impactful engineering can be and how fun it can be and how creative it can be. And it's not, you know, just like really intense math and science classes. While working on her welding project, De La Guarda is passionate about fixing the problems that women may face while being in the engineering department. We've used the phrase like death by a thousand cuts, that it's not like there's necessarily these huge overt sexist things that occur in the school, but it's all these like maybe like a little comment from a professor or something your teammate says that kind of feed into like these insecurities that have developed over time. Another female engineer, Hannah Harker Allen, is happy about her experience as a woman in McCormick. Like I have a pretty good set of girls, um, girl engineers in a lot of my classes, which has been really nice. Um, yeah, we find, kind of formed like a friend group in there, which is kind of cool to, you know, work on projects with them and also just have them in all of my classes. At Northwestern, women in STEM are staying busy and getting their hands dirty in order to increase the percentage of their population. This is Nia Harris reporting from Medill.